Hey YouTuber, good morning. It's almost Christmas. I thought I'd try to do another video before the New Year and Christmas season is here. And uh, what I'm going to do is, a couple weeks ago I asked the viewers if anybody had any suggestions for videos they'd like for me to do in the future. And some people replied. And one of them said, I enjoy your videos. Do more dollar store stuff. This was Ohio Wolf Sister. So this video is for Ohio Wolf Sister. I'm going to do a dollar store video as to why I think the Dollar Tree is the best dollar store out there. It's my favorite. And this is 12 reasons why I think the Dollar Tree store is better than any of the others. The first reason is the Dollar Tree, <laughs> everything's a dollar. You know, you go to some of these other stores and there's like 15 different prices in the store. You go to buy one thing and you come out with something that costs $15. As the Dollar Tree, you go in to buy a thing of soap and you buy 15 items where you didn't really need <laughs> <laughs> they get you in the end one way or the other. But I, I like the Dollar Tree for that reason alone. Everything's a dollar. Um, you uh, Also, the second reason is they have a very wide selection of what they have. Um, I'm, it's surprising how much stuff they really have that you end up using. That's just not something, you know, some knickknacks and stuff. It's, it's really a lot of good staples you save money on. And uh, another thing I like about them is that you go to different Dollar Tree stores and they're pretty much organized the same way. They're very well organized and when you go to each store you pretty much know where everything is so you don't waste a lot of time. And uh, some stores they're all jumbled up. It's like stuff fell on the floor and they didn't pick it back up. Or It's usually very well organized and clean in Dollar at the uh, the the uh, Dollar Tree. Um, now, another thing I like about the Dollar Tree is they have a frozen food, not all of them, but m many of them, they have a frozen food section. And you can get some actually very healthful things in the frozen food section. You can get fish and vegetable and fruit. It's not all Jimmy Dean sausages. <laughs> you can get a lot of you know stuff beside the Hot Pockets. Um, you can eat healthy, and it's only a dollar. Uh, I'm surprising. Um, you can also get some snacks there, that uh, like the sweets that probably aren't worth it. I've had some things there, like some of uh, the ice milk or different things that uh, were uh, desserts for a dollar, and I, I wasn't too happy. But but the other thing that's hard for them to mess up vegetables. <laughs> now, the next thing is interesting is number five, the breads. They have breads that you find in other stores that will cost three and four dollars. Um, like take the Thomas English muffins; they'll cost like two sixty-seven and stuff in the stores. Well, you can get it for a dollar pack. And the cool thing is, there'll be a flavor you won't find in the other stores. I'll get a corn English muffin made by Thomas's that the whole house smells delicious when I put it into the toaster. And it's hard for me to find them in any other store. But I can get them at the dollar store more often than any other place. And they're only a dollar. It's a bargain. I don't eat as much bread as I used to. Not that I'm into that thing about uh, gluten and so on. Just I, I've been changing my diet. I don't eat a lot of bread. But when I do, I like something that has a really good flavor. And I can get some surprisingly healthy and flavorful baked goods at the dollar store. The dollar tree that I can't any other place. The other thing, number six, is the canned fish. I'm kind of a, an aficionado, <laughs> an expert uh, at canned fish. I have about six videos on my YouTube channel on different ways you can cook them to make them taste delicious. My secret, uh, one of many, is just to put them in the panini grill with some Italian dressing and spices on and, and medium high. But the, the sardines, the same thing. Or you can make a nice uh, sandwich bread with pickle relish and mayonnaise and spices. And if you know how to cook or prepare the canned fish, the canned fish are the lowest cost animal protein you can purchase at a dollar store. You just have to know how to cook them. Another thing, number seven, the garden supplies. When spring comes, you can find inexpensive garden supplies, but what really makes me feel happy about the Dollar Tree is this. The four packs for a dollar seeds. 
if you're a gardener, you just tears come dry seeing all these beautiful packs of seeds for a for dollar. You know, spring is here. You know, hope springs eternal. <laughs> uh, you're going to grow something new and fresh again. And uh, it's just a wonderful time of year. Four packs for a dollar. You just feel good. You just feel happy looking at that picture. If you're a gardener, at least I do. That makes me makes me smile just looking at that picture. Four packs for a dollar. Look at all those garden seeds and vegetables and flowers. Makes me want to get out there in the garden right now. Even though I don't have one. I'm in an apartment. <laughs> I miss my garden. <laughs> all right, number, number eight. I, I go to the Dollar Tree probably several times a month. And I've never heard any employee give a customer a bad time. And let me tell you, I go to some places like Home Depot. I've had people look at me like I ran over their dog because I asked them to cut a piece of wood for me on the chop saw. Or I had somebody yell at me one time at Home Depot. I wanted to buy a $200 drill press at two prices. I was trying to get some guy to come over and look at it, and he was yelling at me. like, And I wasn't being mean. I was just asking the question if he come look. And it's like, Jesus. So... The Dollar Tree, I've never heard them be rude or unpleasant to anybody. And they don't have an easy job dealing with the public. And having them ask all day long, how much is this? <laughs> Driving yourself crazy. I had a, a friend of mine work with her. She ended up becoming a doctor. When one of her early jobs after she got out of high school was at the dollar store. And she said it drove her crazy. People asked her how much stuff was. <laughs> it's not easy working in retail. And the people there, I've always seemed to be their nice people. Next thing is, is if you're a do-it-yourself person, you can go online and find tons of videos or blogs about things you can get at the dollar store to make. I'm not so much of an artsy, craftsy person, but I do like shop stuff and, and chemistry and, and the science stuff and inventing things. And you can go to the dollar store, in particular the Dollar Tree, and find things to pique your curiosity and get your... Uh, wheels turn in to make some inventions out of things that only cost a few dollars. Um, also, if you are if you have a video channel on YouTube, there's more than a few people have some videos close to a million views or more off of things that they made where they got all the supply from the dollar store. It's a popular topic. You might want to look into that. Number 10 is the books. Surprisingly, I've purchased quite a few books at the dollar store for just a dollar that turned out to be pretty decent um, some of them political some cookbooks um, you can get some occasionally bestsellers at the dollar store just a dollar you can get it for free at the library but <laughs> but sometimes you just want to treat yourself so yeah I like the dollar store books and when my mom I would uh, try to help her out when she had Alzheimer's I would get the coloring books there from the dollar store Dollar Tree and it was one thing, one of the few things that helped her calm down and stay relaxed was coloring in the color books. And you can get them in the, in the crowns for a dollar piece. Number 11, for if you have an eBay, or, uh, uh, not channel, if you have an eBay store, if you sell stuff on eBay, sometimes the stuff in the Dollar uh, Tree store, it's one of a kind. They just get over stock, oversupply stuff, and they're letting it go for a dollar. They liquidate it. And you can buy this and resell it online and make a few bucks. If you're trying to start your store, sometimes you need a lot of a positive uh, feedback to get uh, uh, certain things on eBay. So if you sell something that doesn't cost a lot of money, this costs you a dollar. Um, you can, and it's it's a brand new with a, a well-established company, Rustolium. Like I said, frequently the Dollar Tree will have stuff that's oversupply, overstock for a dollar that you can get resell and help you make some extra money or get a start on eBay or just use for yourself if you need that. The last thing is I love those peaches that they sell from South Africa. I don't know how much longer they're going to be selling them there but uh, from South Africa the way things are going but I made I liked them so much I made a video I'll leave a link uh, about the peaches you can get at the the Dollar Tree. So. They're big giant cans for a dollar. The most, the best, nicest tasting pizza I've ever had in my life. So that's it, guys. Those are my 12 reasons I like the Dollar Tree and why I think it's the best dollar store out there. Hope you like my videos. I want to thank Ohio Wolf for asking me a question about what, uh, or answering my question about what they would like, what she would like to see in the future. And uh, don't forget, I put on new videos every week. Got close to 700 videos now. I've been doing this for 10 years. 
got a lot of cool people I feature on my channel no relation to me you ought to check out and I have a lot of neat playlists and put stuff on new every week I am going to be taking maybe a week off at the end of the year because I find nobody watches the videos on YouTube at the end of the year and on January 1st might take a week off but I generally have one or two new videos every week on almost all sorts of uh, things you never know what you're going to find on my channel so hope you like this video guys and uh, and you enjoyed it and if you think of something you'd like me to do in the future uh, don't hesitate I'll see what I can do for you guys hope you have a very Merry Christmas and healthy and hell happy <laughs> I'll learn to speak next year <laughs> I hope you have a, a happy and a healthy new year I know I am all right guys take care see you out there